Hello Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Yub Plays. You guys who are on the channel a lot know that I'm always looking for cool RPG Maker horror games that not that many people have played, and I think I found one called Mouth Sweet. It looks creepy. It's supposed to be a game where there's monsters that you can't really see. You gotta use sound, so make sure you're using headphones to listen to this, because you need to listen to the left or the right to know where the monsters are. And when you get near one, it actually switches to a first-person shooter in an RPG Maker game. This sounds incredible. I, I want to play it now. Oh, so excited. Love games. <laughs> Me too. Content warning, this game depicts scenes of violence, animal cruelty, and frank discussion of suicide. Also, this game may attempt to erase your identity. Please take care if you're sensitive to any of the above. Holy butt. You start your new job today. You'll be working in the big office building at the center of town. This light is pissing me off. It's another underpaid temp job. You have no hope of making ends meet. Job or not. Maybe this time, it'll lead to something more substantial. But probably not. You approach the building. Hello! Welcome to Shawfont, Shawfont, and Shawfont Incorporated. You must be the new temp. Wait, which one are you anyways? Whoa, they look cool. You get to pick your little character? Oh, decisions. Okay, here we go. I kind of like this guy. Yeah, I picked this guy. Is this you? Show enough is. Oh, wonderful. Please proceed through that door. You got it, buddy. Let me go anywhere else but where you just said. You can't. Okay. So I picked my identity. The soundtrack is amazing real quick. Oh, this is cool. Normal is... Normal mode has tense first-person battles and a high level of challenge. Gameplay in normal mode depends heavily on audio cues and requires stereo sound. I live my life in stereo sound. Got it, man. Let's go. Yes. Why am I so excited? What? Oh, there's no problem. It's just... I mean, I like your hair and all, and that's a cute outfit, but it doesn't suit the culture of this establishment. If we let you dress like that, we'd lose credibility. What? They take away my identity, just like it said. Ugh, this is just like my real job. There we go. That's a little more appropriate. Okay? Now, what's your name? You already know. Are they going to take this identity away too? How about I be Yub exclamation point? I feel like that would be better. There you go. Got him. What? Oh, no, honey. I'll be needing your real name, please. That is my real name. <laughs> Haters. Sorry, but I need your real legal name. The name on the documents you submitted to us, and that's Haas. Welcome, Haas. I'm sure you'll love it here. Nobody calls me that, or my name is Yed! <laughs> huh? Oh, don't worry about it. We'll call you by your preferred name. We just need your legal name for our records, you know? Bureaucrats, am I right? Ha ha ha! I have a lot of money. All right, Haas, here's your cube. Vivienne will be by to show you around and give you your first assignment. Have a good day at work. Oh, oh, I love the graphics. It's it's like a Game Boy game. Oh, I hope you guys are excited for this. I can't even handle it. I'm pumped out of my freaking tits. Haas, there's my cube. Anything exciting going on in here? Vivian. So, you're our new temp. Hmm. So your name's Haas? My name is Yub. Um, I'll just stick to calling you Haas. Thanks. Great. So anyway, take this PDA. Throughout the day, you will receive all your instructions through it. It doesn't make outgoing calls, it only receives emails, so don't even try it. Oh, hey, new instructions already, that's a cool ringtone, honestly. The screen of the PDA lights up and shows you your next assignment. Deliver this sandwich to the CEO's office, room 492C. Oh, hey, you get to meet the CEO right away. <laughs> he likes to meet all the new hires, the human touch or whatever. 492C is four floors up, as the name implies. Have fun! Thanks, Vivian. Give me this freaking sandwich. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Is there a save point? I guess not. Locked. Why are these rooms locked? I'm in somebody else's cube? What is that? It says save. Hold on, I need to hear that again. Okay. Wait, let me see my picture. Dude, it's kind of, like, kind of accurate if my hair was more like, like that. Look, there I am. There, is that it? I need glasses and I'd have it perfect. Okay, is there anything secret in here? Oh my gosh, I can't handle- I can't handle this. I really like this game right off the bat. Whew, I need to chill out. Okay, let's go up here. It's four floors up, they said. There's a dead body! Are you freaking kidding me? Locked. Locked. What the frick? He's dead. He looks like he's been clawed apart by an animal or something. Yikes! There's a handwritten note on the body. Janitor has been notified about the mess. Really? 
It's a dead body in the hallway and no one freaking cares. The janitor's been notified, are you joking? Okay, they said that sound is very important, but I haven't heard anything except my own footsteps and my own freaking stupid voice yet. Okay, I'm just gonna go forward. Oh, I didn't hear anything. No, oh, this is the CEO's. I thought this was gonna be like a monster room. What would the CEO sound like? Oh, hey, is that my sandwich? Excellent, just leave it right there. Thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Can I go talk to him? No? Okay, we didn't even get to see him. Hey, wait a second there, friend. You're new here. I can tell. How's your first day going so far? Uh, there's a dead body in the hall. Oh, gosh, really? <laughs> Yikes. That's a lousy first impression, isn't it? Sorry about that. I don't know when I became this voice, but I'm... I love it. I'm okay with it, and I love you. Be sure to tell the janitor about that, will ya? Anyways, my mother founded this company a long time ago, you know. What is the soundtrack? Oh, relaxing. I'll go to sleep to this tonight, this soundtrack. The people who work here are all so nice. It's less like a job and more like a party every day, isn't it? <laughs> Chalfont, Chalfont, and Chalfont Incorporated is the very best at what we do. Whatever that is. I literally just got jump scared from this freaking soundtrack. Chalfont, Chalfont, Chalfont Incorporated is the <laughs> employee handbook. <laughs> I hardly know her. <laughs> Lighten up, kid. You won't be young forever, you know. Anyway, I should let you get back to work. Let Vivian know if you have any questions. She's great. Toodles. Man, that CEO's uh, soundtrack is lit. So we're going to go back through here, I guess. And there's still a dead body. He's dead. You can't say anything different. Okay. Well, is this... That's just a power outlet. All right, we're going downstairs. No big deal. And there's a safe station in here, which I will hit again. A. Hey. Good old Haas. Even though they won't call me by my name. It's annoying that you get to name your character, but they don't let you keep it. Hey, Vivian. I totally forgot to give you something real important. She hands you a revolver. Thanks. <laughs> I will I will say that. If somebody ever just hands me a gun in real life, I would be like, ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> there are invisible people in the hallways or something. Anyway, use this to defend yourself or they'll get you. If you hear footsteps that aren't your own, then... <laughs> I can't say that. If you hear footsteps that aren't your own, then by gosh, you better hit that shift key to pull out the gun. Use the left and right arrows to aim, and spacebar or Z to fire. Press X or escape to put your gun away again. They're invisible, so you'll have to use your ears to locate them. Well, good thing my ears are huge. Gun only holds six bullets at a time, though. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's our only extra right now. So maybe you should just keep moving rather than trying to take them all down. That's the, Do that with zombies, too, if you ever come across one. That's all for now. I'm going on break. Good luck. The screen of the PDA lights up and shows you your next assignment. Go to room 78945B and arrange things in the correct order. I don't know what button is going to be the gun button, though. I'm using a controller. Okay, hold on here. Not that button. This button. <gasps> you hear him? Oh, I pushed the wrong button! I pushed the wrong button. Wait, wait, no. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Here we go. Listen. Got him! And that's it. No more. Look at all the blood splatters on the wall. Okay, so to recap, that is so sick. Oh my god, this is amazing. Can I go back and get ammo or something? There, is there ammo in here? This game is so cool. Oh, it's so cool. And there's ammo right there. Let me get this real quick. Did I get six again? So you can only use your gun in the hallway. No, you can't. You can use your gun anywhere. And then this button gets out. Okay. Found a teddy bear in the file cabinet. <laughs> Good. So you have to constantly be listening for the little footsteps. I bet there will be some in the hallway. Listen, see if you hear it. I'm going to see if I can just run away from it. I got away. Okay, let's kill this one. Got him! Oh! 
This game is amazing. I love it. I don't know how they kill you, though. Like, if I just keep walking, am I gonna die? Or can I just run past them? Okay, we're good. We're good in this hallway. There's gonna be a lot of stopping and listening. This is freaking Five Nights at Freddy's 4. These must be the things that need to be arranged. In the correct order, it says? Oh, good. Yeah, that... Amazing. Let me go back out and then go back in. They don't even tell you? You can't leave until the task is done? They don't even tell you what the correct order is? Oh, good. It's me, Vivienne. They told me to come check on you. You've been gone for a while. So, how's the box arranging going? Hmm. Are you serial? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're new. Nobody expects you to get the hang of it right away. Seriously? Let me save. Giving up on this for today. Wow. I hear no footsteps. So we're good. We gotta listen, though. There's definitely... Okay, I'm gonna see if I can just go for it. I'm running from this monster. See you, buddy. Later! So is there, there's no reason to fight him. Look. I can just walk right by him. Later. Easy. And there's extra ammo right here. Got him. So what is the point of fighting him? You can just walk straight by him. They are no threat. What's the point of fighting him other than how freaking awesome it is? The screen of the PDA lights up and shows you your next assignment. Deliver the sandwich to Vivian at her desk. Why is everyone so lazy? Let's go. This box is... Found half a pencil. Well, good. What's up? Get wrecked! He went... <laughs> Alright. There's an exit. We're not supposed to exit, though, are we? Found a cheese cube. Well, good. Yeah. The, all the blood splatters on the wall are where other people have killed these invisible monsters? Like, what kind of job is this? What's up, buddy? Welcome to the show. <laughs> Murder. I probably could have just dipped in here, huh? I need to quit fighting. I'm wasting my bullets. Because, look. He's back out here. No matter if you kill him or not. Nothing. We are good. Vivian, is this you? The frick? So what happens if I pull out my gun in here? You can't. Alright, let's talk to everybody. Worker says nothing. Worker says nothing. This person, hold on, this person got to keep their hair cut. <laughs> Rude. I, they're special, I guess. I'm not. These people all look the same. We look exactly like them. It did erase our identity. I'm just talking to everyone. There's Vivian up there. She's the only one that looks different. I'm gonna talk to everybody though. And I'm gonna look in this cabinet that's obviously outlined. I found a penny. Where are my items? I wonder what kind of meat the sandwich is. Cheese cube, half a pencil. I got all kinds of stuff. All right, what's up girl? Oh my God, is that a sandwich for me? Thanks so much, I'm ravenous. She snatches the sandwich from you and wolfs it down. <laughs> You'd think she hadn't eaten in days. It's actually pretty grim. <laughs> I don't feel so good. I really... Really? She's gonna come after me. Blood begins to gush from Vivian's eyes and mouth. She clutches her mouth with both hands. Her cheeks swell, veins pop out of her forehead. She begins screaming through her clasped hands and her expanding cheeks. <laughs> what the frick? Did you see that? For a second, her body was there like without a head and then... So wait, we were assigned to bring that to her and it killed her. And no one has reacted at all? Oh, someone did. Vivian had to leave suddenly. Oh, I hope nothing bad has happened. No, guys, her head exploded. I saw her. I'm not actually a man, but they forced me to dress like this and answer to him to keep the job. Not sure why. Jeez, the dress code is so arbitrary. I miss my cool earrings. It's not like I don't feel bad for her, but I had a bad sandwich once and I had to just suck it up, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think she had more than a bad sandwich, buddy. There might be a joke in here about the cafeteria food. But that might be in bad taste. I didn't know Sans was here. Freaking pun master 3000. Yes? You're boring. How about you? You're the new kid, huh? I give you about a week. No, I'm great at killing monsters, so I'm gonna last. Yes? What about you? Lucky. They gave you a gun. All I get to fight off the bugs is this letter opener. They call them bugs? It's more than a bug. 
Poor girl. She's been having issues at home, I hear. A poison sandwich from the CEO is probably just one more thing to deal with. What? Surely you've noticed the invisible monsters in the halls by now. Management keeps claiming they're looking into it, but it's been this way for years. They dismissively call the monsters bugs. So I guess the name stuck. Sweet. Killing bugs. Still better than my last job. <laughs> Your last job must have sucked. Must have been McDonald's. Alright, no one's out here. We're good. I'm gonna just try walking this time and see. Look, I can dip in here and hit a save station. Got him. Okay, what if I just walk? I'm just gonna go for it. See ya. Like, the monsters are invisible. So I don't know how to know if I'm gonna run right into it or not. You'd think if he was gonna get me, he would've done it. Something invisible brushed past you just now. Let's go out the exit. I'm freaking screw this. Exit. Gotta go. Wait, you can you can leave? I'm leaving right now. I'm just going home. Here's my car. Is this mine? Out of order. There's gonna have to be some kind of assignment out here sooner or later. You can't pull your gun out here either. Well, all right. So it, it seems like going in the room, the little door, is kind of a reset button for the monster. See? So if the hallway is too long, you can't make it. These hallways aren't long though, so I'm just fine. The screen of the PDA lights up and shows you your next assignment. Take this sticker and apply it to the leg of the designated infant. This task requires time travel to the 1980s. You must wear these shoulder pads and in <laughs> You must wear these shoulder pads in order to blend in or else you'll change history. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? The screen of the PDA lights up again. That was a joke. No shoulder pads. Okay. I got a sticker. It looks like a barcode for a baby. A baby barcode. Okay, we'll do this one and then we're probably gonna have to call it... Whoa. We'll do this one and then we're gonna have to call it a day. What the heck? Okay, we gotta be listening. Definitely monsters in here, but I think I can make it. Watch this. I think I'm good. I'm going up here. Yep, I can totally make it out this- Oh! See, that's like your last warning right there when they brush past you. Alright, now let's go back. That's like a, a, a checkpoint. Almost. You can only be in the room for a certain amount of time before you're done. Okay, hold on a sec. I gotta kill this guy. Got him! Oh! Wrecked. Straight killed him. This girl doesn't even care. Honory? Her name is Honory? Honory? I'm gonna call her Honory. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> hi. We haven't met, but I'm our Honory. I'm your manager. Basically, you talk to me if you need a day off. Otherwise, you leave me alone. Got it? I'm only in the men's room because I lost my car key. You know, for the incredibly slick, incredibly expensive sports car down in the parking garage. Yeah, we have a parking garage. It's behind the door with the exit sign. I can't believe I lost the key. That car is my baby. I might have dropped it in a box or a filing cabinet or something. If you find the key, do not try to steal my car. Seriously? Don't do it. I don't care how much you want out of here, it is not your getaway car. So we are stealing her car. 100%. Alright, there's a monster in here. I'm gonna see if I can make it. Make it past some monsters! I think I can make it. Is there a door up here? All right, we got it. I got to scope in. Got him. Wow. He was like right on top of me right when I pulled the gun out too. Seems like there's only one monster per area though. So basically you want to try to make it, but you might not be able to. Found another penny. Heck yeah. Go in here to be safe for a second. Get more ammos. Oh, baby. All right, I'm going. See you later, monsters. You can't. Too swift. They call me T-Swift. Alright, I gotta- I gotta kill one. <laughs> nice try, buddy. What? Look how high these urinals are up on the wall. What the heck? Okay, yeah, it really seems like there's only one monster per hallway. Wait. I just said that, but there was another one. Let's get out of here. Screw that. I don't like it. What, uh... What is this floor? 
I don't know what to do with that floor is, but this room is upside down. So that's great. I just went- I'm on the ceiling. I'm on the ceiling and there's a satanic ritual happening. Great! <laughs> what is this? It's a bassinet. There's a baby in it, covered with a blanket. The baby isn't making a sound and seems to be sleeping. The baby's leg is sticking out from under the blanket. Apply that sticker. Pat! There we go. Huh? The baby is starting to squirm. The baby is starting to thrash around. The baby's whimpering. You feel a stinging sensation at a spot by your ankle. The baby is screaming. The baby is shrieking uncontrollably. What was that sticker? You've never heard a child scream like this in your whole life. Is the baby in a lot of pain? Your head begins to swim. You can't think straight, maybe because of the noise or the searing pain around your ankle. The pain and screaming, it's too much. I just put a sticker on my own self as a baby, I guarantee. You black out. We had to go back in time to do it, remember? I bet that was us. How much you want to bet? You've come to in your cube. You still feel a stinging at your ankle. You want to look at it, but you don't. The screen of the PDA lights up and shows your next assignment. Remove the legs from this bird. Ugh, we need to get to a safe station real quick. I guarantee you the stinging sensation on my ankle is going to be a sticker. Because we probably stickered ourselves. Alright, let's save. Alright guys, thank you so much for being here for this video. Sorry if I was over the top about it, but I'm really excited by this game. It seems so freaking cool. Uh, if you are the developer and somehow you saw this, great job on this so far. I can't wait to play more. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. Also, suggest me your favorite games you want to see because I take a lot of advice from the comments on what to play next. Anyways, please hit subscribe if you want to see more from me. And as always, have a bye five. Have, have, have a bye five. And as always, have a bye five. <laughs> have a bye five. And as always, Hello Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Yup Plays. Of Yup Plays. Yup, 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 Yup Plays. And as always, have a bye-bye.